today we're diving into the top seven remote work from home jobs that are hiring right now. And these jobs are not only simple to do, but also easy to land, often requiring no prior experience. I'll walk you through what you'll do in each job, how much you can expect to earn, and where you can apply to kickstart your remote career. So whether you're looking for flexibility, a comfortable work environment, or a chance to start fresh in the job market, these opportunities can be perfect for you. And by the way, I've received a ton of emails from you all sharing your success stories after our 30 minute consultations. So congratulations to those who landed a remote job. If you're ready to discover remote job opportunities, feel free to book a 30 minute consultation with me. And I'll leave the link in the description down below. All right guys, let's get started. The first job on the list I wanna to talk to you guys about is customer service. Now, customer service jobs often get tagged as relatively easy for a bunch of reasons. First off, they're all about having a clear playbook. You're not flying blind. There are procedures and guidelines for handling every type of customer issue. And this structured approach makes it a lot easier to respond, which takes a load off when things get hectic. Plus, you're not left guessing. Companies usually give you scripts or templates to follow during customer interactions. Having that kind of clarity makes handling conversations smoother and helps you sort out problems fast. And hey, they don't just throw you into the deep end. Most places offer solid training programs. You'll get the lowdown on the products, brush up on your communication skills, and learn how to troubleshoot like a pro. And you'll also find that the work tends to be pretty predictable. Once you've handled a bunch of calls or emails, you start recognizing the patterns. Patterns. Dealing with similar issues day in and day out helps you get faster and more efficient. And the cool part is you've got options. Calls, emails, live chats, there's different ways to interact with customers. So you can pick what suits you best, but it's not all smooth sailing. You've gotta be sharp with your communication, have a good dose of empathy, and stay patient, especially when customers aren't so thrilled. It's all about listening up, thinking on your feet, and finding solutions. And of course, every job is different. The ease of the job can depend on the industry, company policies, and what kind of curveballs customers throw your way. Now let's talk really quick about the pay for customer service reps. The salary usually ranges between $32,000 to $59,000 per year with an average earnings of $42,000. And some companies that are always hiring customer service reps are Amazon, Working Solutions, Alorica, Apple, and Concentrix. Now of course there's always going to be hundreds of companies hiring remote workers. But for customer service, these are my top picks. Moving on to our second easy job, we have data entry. With data entry, you're mainly punching information into databases, spreadsheets, or systems. And once you get the hang of the format and software, it's pretty repetitive and you can cruise through it. You don't need a ton of training up front. Basic computer skills and fast fingers for typing are usually enough. Compared to jobs needing fancy degrees and certifications, it's a pretty smooth entry. And with data entry, it's all about structure. You've got clear instructions on how to input data accurately, so there's not a lot of guesswork. That makes the job a lot easier to handle day by day. And another great thing about data entry, flexibility is usually on the menu. Lots of data entry gigs offer remote work or flexible hours, so you can set your own schedule and dodge rush hour stress. It's also a great foot in the door for people who are looking to switch up their careers. You can pick up valuable office and computer skills, which sets you up for bigger things down the line. Now, speed and accuracy are your game when it comes to data entry. Once you're on point with both, you you can crank out work with minimal errors. It's a good feeling and boosts your confidence on the job. Of course, on the job, you'll still need sharp focus and an eye for detail to keep things on track, especially when dealing with different data formats or specialized software. And like any job, how easy it is depends on what you're working with and the tools your employer throws your way. And when it comes to compensation, the estimated total pay for a data entry specialist is $42,000 per year, with an average salary of approximately $38,000 per year. Now, of course, where you're located, whether or not you have experience, and the company you're considering all play a role on how much you can get compensated. So you can actually earn more or less than this. And my top companies for data entry are Kelly Services, which frequently hires for remote data entry roles across different 
different industries. Second one is Dion Data Solutions, which specializes in data entry services and often has remote positions available. Third one is Xerox, which offers remote data entry jobs as part of their business services and solutions. And you all know I'm a fan of freelancing. And Upwork is a great platform to consider, offering opportunities for freelancers. Let's talk about the third job on the list, which is proofreading. With proofreading, you're all about spotting mistakes, typos, grammar slip-ups, punctuation goofs, you name it. It's like being the detective of written words, making sure everything reads smooth and clean. And the good news is you don't need a PhD in language to do this either. Sure, you gotta know your stuff like grammar and spelling, but in my opinion, it's not rocket science. Once you get the hang of the rules, it's just about paying attention to the details. And tasks are pretty laid out too. Once you're in the groove with the style guide or requirements, it's just going through text line by line, fixing up any mistakes according to the rules. And flexibility is often on the table too. Lots of proofreading jobs let you choose your hours or work from home. No more rush hour or office drama, just the freedom to do your thing when it suits you best. Plus, you get to work with all kinds of stuff, like books, articles, websites, and more. It keeps things interesting and lets you flex your proofreading talents on different content. And thanks to technology, remote jobs are booming. You can snag proofreading jobs from all over, right from the comfort of your couch. For this job, you'll have to stay focused and sharp, especially when you're sitting through dense material or dealing with tricky formatting. But at the end of the day, how easy or hard it is depends on the client. And the average salary for a proofreader is any anywhere from $50,000 to $58,000 per year. Now, if you're trying to find companies that hire proofreaders, here they are. Proofreadingservices.com, who hire remote proofreaders to work on different types of documents. Scribendi is another one, and they offer editing and proofreading services and always have openings for freelance proofreaders. And the last one is Cactus Communications, which specialize in providing editing, translation, and publication support services, and regularly hire freelance editors and proofreaders. And again, if you want to do your own thing, you can always use Upwork or Fiverr to post your own jobs. Let's talk about number four on the list, which is social media jobs. Social media jobs are often seen easier than other jobs for good reasons. You're basically running the show on platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and LinkedIn. And if you're already familiar with these platforms as a user, managing them for a brand can feel pretty natural. It's all about getting creative, crafting posts, creating eye-catching images, and maybe even putting together cool videos. And if you got a talent for writing and design, this part of the job can be a blast. You're not just posting and ghosting either. You're chatting up with followers, replying to comments, and diving into messages. It's like being the social butterfly of the internet, which can be super rewarding if you're connecting with people online. And you'll get plenty of flexibility on the job too. Lots of social media jobs let you choose Choose when and where you work. Remote options mean you can manage accounts from just about anywhere with Wi-Fi. And you're also picking up some serious skills along the way. Digital marketing, content creation, crunching analytics, these are all great skills in today's job market. Now don't get me wrong, you still gotta get your A-game with creativity, as well as strategic thinking and get a good handle on how social trends work. Managing multiple platforms and keeping your audience engaged takes serious smarts and people skills too. So not everyone will find themselves suited for this job. And the estimated total pay for a social media specialist is $55,000 per year, with an average salary of $51,000 per year. And some companies that are hiring social media specialists are Buffer, who offer social media management tools and frequently hire remote social media specialists. Next, we got Hootsuite, which provides social media management solutions and often hire remote social media specialists to help clients manage their social Social media presence. Next one up, we have Sprout Social. They offer social media management and analytics tools and frequently hire remote social media specialists to assist clients with their social media strategies. Number five on the list is telemarketing jobs. Now with telemarketing jobs, you're working off a script provided by the company. It tells you what to say and how to handle common questions or pushbacks from customers. So you're not left scrambling for words during calls. And most of the time, you're making outbound calls to potential customers. Once you've got the hang of the script and know the product or service inside out, it's mostly a rinse and repeat kind of deal. 
and the training is not super intensive either. You need basic communication skills and a good grasp of the script. They'll teach you about the products or services and how to pitch it effectively to customers on the line. And it's also pretty structured. You've got goals to hit, like how many calls you make or how many sales you close. This will keep you focused on your game. And the good news is lots of telemarketing jobs offer different shifts, including part-time or evening hours, so you can find a schedule that works for you. Telemarketers usually get paid Paid anywhere from $32,000 to $60,000 per year. And when it comes to companies, here are some you should consider. Starting off with Dial America, who hires remote telemarketers to conduct outbound calls for clients. Next, we have NextWave Advocacy. They hire telemarketers to conduct advocacy outreach and campaigns. We also have Blue Zebra, and they specialize in B2B appointment setting services and often hire remote telemarketers. And the last one I have for you guys is Bright in communications, and with them, you would make outbound calls to businesses and set appointments. Let's move on to number six, which is transcription jobs. With transcription jobs, you've got clear guidelines to follow from clients or companies. They lay out how they want things formatted, their style preferences, and any specifics for the job. Once you've got that down, it's pretty simple. You're basically listening to audio recordings and typing out what's being said. And once you're comfortable with the software and the style they're looking for, it's a bit like hitting repeat pretty predictable and easy to get into the groove. All you need is a computer and some headphones, no heavy gear or fancy tools required, which makes it super convenient to work from just about anywhere. And speaking of convenience, you can actually work on your own time. As long as you get each project submitted on time, you'll be able to work from home and choose your own schedule. It's also a great starting point if you're looking to break into the field. Basic typing skills, good ears for listening, and attention to detail are usually all all you need to get going. You'll also get to tackle different topics from medical jargon to legal lingo or even juicy celebrity interviews. There's always something new to transcribe. Now, the average salary for a transcriptionist is $43,000 per year, but it can go all the way up to $75,000 once you've got some good experience. And when it comes to companies you can transcribe with, we have SpeechPad, which offers transcription and captioning services, GMR Transcription, Rev, which offers transcription, captioning, and translation services, and lastly, Transcribe Me, which specializes in quick and accurate transcription services. And the last one on the list, number seven, is virtual assistant jobs. As a virtual assistant, you're going to be handling typical office stuff like scheduling meetings, sorting emails, booking travel, and helping out with basic customer questions. Plus, you can do it all as long as you have some Wi-Fi. Whether it's on your couch, a coffee shop, or a hammock by the beach, as long as you're online, you're good to go. You'll usually get clear instructions on what you have to do, whether that's from your boss or client. That helps cut down on any confusion and lets you focus on knocking out your to-do list. And most virtual assistants bring their A-game with organizational skills, time management, and chatting up with clients. It's all about keeping the workflow smooth and making sure everyone's on the same page. And as a virtual assistant, it's not the same routine every day. You might be juggling tasks for different projects or clients, which keeps things interesting. And the best part, you usually get to call the shots on when and how you get things done. If you're into running your own show and keeping your schedule tight, being a virtual assistant could be right up your alley. As of this year, a virtual assistant makes $24.40 an hour, and that's around $51,000 per year. And my top recommended companies for virtual assistants are Belay, which has both remote virtual assistants and bookkeeping jobs. Another one is Time ETC, which specializes in virtual assistant services. Next one up is Fancy Hands, which provides virtual assistant services and hires freelance virtual assistants. Another one is virtual and lastly Worldwide 101 which offers virtual assistant and administrative support services. Well guys that's all for today. I hope you found this information both valuable and insightful. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your own experience with remote jobs feel free to leave a comment down down below, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.